So how does everyone you pushed out play a role in people, circumstances, situations? Stop talking and having inner conversations about people when they do something to you. Just stop it. Peace, beautiful people. This is Danielle and you're watching Fly Girls Manifesting. And so today we're talking about everyone is you pushed out. And to be quite honest, if I can chillax with you guys, I feel like a lot of people are getting this term a little bit misconstrued with thinking that there's a person there and you're pushing them out. I mean, I'm not trying to say people are slow, but I'm just saying it's like people are getting confused. Neville Gardert has a term that people have coined in the manifestation community that is called everyone is you pushed out. And if you're confused about it or if you're wondering why is that the term, let me say it to you in a different way. It really means that people are reflections of your inner thoughts, your conversations, your perception of them. So I used to work in the restaurant industry and there was a kitchen manager. Now mind you, I was a manager as well, salary manager. You had the general manager that was salaried, you had the kitchen manager that was salaried, and you had me as the bar manager, I was salaried. So we all pretty much were working together on the same pay rate. This man, I'm just telling you guys a story. In my perception of him, he was completely rude, disrespectful. His existence in the establishment was to make people's lives miserable. I saw this man do this. I saw him like literally come in, huff and puff, throw things around, and no one could get this man fired, no matter how many letters you wrote to corporate, no matter how many people complained about him to corporate, his ass was still there employed. He'd been there for years and it was this thing going around to where that was what he wanted to do. If you were a new employee, he wanted to break you. Now we're talking about everyone as you pushed out. So, I already am creating an inner conversation about this person, right? Because if everyone is you pushed out, it means that that person that you're coming in contact with, you have created the circumstances for them to come in contact with. That's number one. So we would go backwards and forwards when we finally did clash. And I say this when I tell people that if someone is giving you a hard time at your job or if someone is giving you a hard time in your family, you have to take a step back and realize that there is a perception about that person. There is something that you have been saying in your mind about the person that is reflecting that to you. So how does everyone you pushed out play a role in people circumstances, situations. Stop talking and having inner conversations about people when they do something to you. Just stop it. I decided that I was going to have conversations with him in my head and have him laughing with me because he never laughed. He was like stone cold, like, uh, uh, like, uh. He was stone cold. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to make this like a light situation. I'm not trying to lose my job because this man is trying me. In my head, I was visualizing him and hearing the conversation. And the conversation was about um, me living in Brooklyn and Spike Lee. So I was like, okay, let me just try to manifest a conversation with this man. Or I was like, let me just try to make the conversation light. So I imagine us and like heard us talking about something, but I, in my mind, asked him, do you um, watch Spike Lee movies? Well, guess what guys? Within like a month and a half, almost two months of me just kind of like coming to work and just like being mom, I was like, nope, I'm not giving this man no attention. Do you know me and him had a in-depth conversation 
about Spike Lee movies after hours, like, cause you know, you close the restaurant after 2 a.m. And I said, oh, wow. And you know, he told me, he said, I'm only hard on you because you're the first person that we hired in the company that I see that you're not here to just play around. It wasn't until I changed my inner thoughts, my inner conversations about him, that we were able to break through that barrier to kind of get some leeway. And I never knew all along that he actually thought that I was really good at what I did. But I know for a fact that the Spike Lee movies connotation thing, I was like, oh, wow. He and I are talking about Spike Lee movies. I didn't mention it. I wanted him and I to have some common ground, you know? And he was like, you know, it's just like in that movie that Spike Lee made. <laughs> so if you don't believe me when I tell you that everyone is you pushed out, meaning that people have to conform to what you want them to do when you think, when you feel, when you rehearse conversations, they have to conform. Are we the best of friends now? No, but we have an understanding. We do. And that didn't happen until I changed. Like, I was just like, okay, I got to do something. Like, this person is showing me something about myself. Because the conversation about Spike Lee is actually what I knew for a fact that I had impressed. I had impressed that as everyone you, is you pushed out. I will also say that if you don't believe me, like I said, try this for one day. For one day, pick something that you have no resistance to. It could be someone complimenting you on something like your nails or saying something very specific to you about a necklace that you're wearing. Pick the necklace. I wish I had a necklace here. <laughs> Pick the necklace, look at it, wear it for a couple of days, and just throughout the day, imagine someone complimenting you on the necklace. It's no pressure. Imagine someone complimenting you on your necklace or whatever the, the item is. Everyone as you pushed out with compliments is the best way to test this out. You don't believe me? Test it. I'm telling you what to do. You guys will be amazed at how you can get people to actually conform to what you want them to do. Because guess what? When everyone as you pushed out is applied properly, whatever you said in inner conversations you had in your head about the person, you're gonna hear that verbatim. You're gonna see it show up verbatim.